Today, I am building my first ever mansion in hardcore Minecraft, serving as a meeting hall for my massive Minecraft city, fully equipped with a beautiful bell tower, which led me to the deep dark for the very first time in this 2,750 day old hardcore world. And to calm my anxiety, I'm building some gardens into the mountainside, all to assemble my dream Minecraft mansion. Before starting, double check that you're subscribed as well, YouTube might have unsubscribed you, causing you to miss out on my videos. Today's journey begins begins with a lovely green hill where I've already spent over an hour clearing out this mountain to create space for my mansion using a large amount of the space for a plaza in front and I've got so much stone in here now and I'd really like some smooth stone to work with flying down into the cave I can toss a shulker of stone into the super smelter with the magic of editing I now have a shulker of smooth stone for a small sidewalk here in front of my mansion going for aesthetics here I want to use some deep slate and polished deep slate to create a trim around the base of my mansion where I've run into a small problem and I need to move a mountain to fix it back at it again here with the beacon Spending another hour clearing out the mountain space behind my mansion so I can actually fit the build in here. Leaving a big future foot problem of this gross wall. And maybe a even larger shulker monster. Current foot problem of two very broken pickaxes. Quick break from building, we can repair all the pickaxes. This is currently just purely gray. So I need a few little planters and some street lights here in front. Perfect. Next up, the mansion. Throwing a pillar up here in the middle, I want to create a grand bell tower to see easily from around the city. Leaving space for a grand doorway here in the center. Right here in the center, though, I'd like to include a big old window made out of cyan and light blue. The window's a wee bit flat, so we can fix it with some more smooth sandstone. Much better. Breaking the tower into multiple layers, I started stacking each of them up on top of each other, sticking with a warmer block palette, but introducing some fun light blue accent colors. Now this tower is inspired by some build I found on Pinterest, but it kept linking me to cooking websites so I couldn't find the original person who built it. So if you recognize it, please leave a comment down below. Not only is this a bell or soul lantern tower, but it's also a clock tower. We're in this world, it's always three o'clock. And three o'clock means it's time to figure out what I'm putting up here. And uh, well, I've got an idea. But first, it's time to plant a field. Maybe you have shulker boxes. No, 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 actual field. Before I risk everything to finish decorating this tower, episode 26 brings the 26th field into this hard core minecraft world 2785 days survived so far and so much has been accomplished on this journey now having survived over a year irl i never expected to get this far double check that you're subscribed so you don't miss out on this adventure now for something i put off for a very long time in order to finish the top of this tower i need a shrieker from the deep dark it's time to risk this entire world finding the deep dark for the very first time but a quick side mission here as i'm almost out of rockets down into the monolith where we of gunpowder self harvested gunpowder much better the deep dark was introduced in minecraft 1.19 i started this world in 1.18 meaning the chunks have already been explored around my base so they can't have the deep dark biome i have to explore a very long way away from home where i'm trying to find some very tall mountains <laughs> and this is kind of the opposite oh these chunks seem to be a little rough loading in here what have we found we found gold and some creepers trying to find my way all the way down to see if we can't find any deep dark underneath the mountain that's not gonna get me anywhere oh this is looking promising nope 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 maybe this cave wants to go down cool spider this is a little interesting. It's a bit interesting. Ooh, we're going down though. Deep slate. This could be good. I haven't went mining in this world like this in forever. This actually feels kind of nice. It's kind of nice just running around. Excuse me. I got my very first deep slate copper ore. <laughs> Only nearly 2,800 days in this world. Nope, 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 buddy. Buddy, you've had, you've had better days, buddy. You've had better days. Maybe get out of the water. There you go. Good job. <laughs> What? Diamonds? Look at that. Oh my gosh, there's six of them. And gravel. Of course there's gravel, but there's more diamonds. Look how many there are. I just found 17 deep slate diamonds like nothing. Wait, what is... Why is there a deep slate brick here? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Oh, oh. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. We are, <laughs> we are in an ancient city now. I wasn't expecting that. 
Oh, I wasn't expecting that at all. There's no skulk here. Why is there no skulk here? There's diamond pants, though. And more diamond. Demond. No plural. Okay, there it is. Deep dark does exist. Okay, now I'm scared. Why am I happy about... I shouldn't be happy about that. I'm terrified. I see a shrieker. That is all I need. Okay, do we go for it? I think I gotta go for it. And we found all the bombs. Okay, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. And we're being a sneaky. Ooh, skeleton head. Oh, no, it went off. Okay, we have two more. Two more before the warden. Two more before... Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. Don't mind if I do, Mr. Skeleton Head. Oh, look at the diamond hoe. Oh, this is fantastic. So if sneak one, that's amazing. Oh, I love this so much. Oh, we're getting so much loot today. Wait, that's a catalyst. I can make Skulk at home. Skulk at home doesn't try and kill you like Skulk in the world. I think I can do this. Nope. I cannot do it. I cannot not do it at all. Okay. <laughs> One more of the warden spawns. I'm not scared. And I think I slide right in here. Ooh, we got a chest. Efficiency five. And books. Another chest with more skulk. And another diamond hoe. And diamond. Ooh, there's a warden. Oh, no, there's a warden. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, buddy. You just stay over there, all right? Oh, no, there he is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't come this way. Don't come this way. You shh. Stay over there, okay? You just stay. I'm just gonna go loot this little room. He seems to be sticking around over there and not walking this way. Okay, he's gone. We're safe. Back to looting. I've never pressed the shift key so hard in my life. More diamond hoes. We're getting so many hoes. Other side. Wait, that's amazing. For this next chest right over here, I think we swoop in, break it with the axe, pick everything up, and look at it later. Let's go. And we run. Go, 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 go. Okay, the warden spawned. It's still dark. He's... Where is he? he? should be over there and I should be safe. Yes. Look at it bobbing up and down. We got Swiss Sneak 3. I just need three more disc fragments and a few more echo shards so we can make the last items. Oh, I just heard one go off. Kate, let's do this again. Oh, hi, Warden. I see a chest. A lot of chests. Loot them all. Loot them all. I think two Wardens just spawned. Everything's so dark. I'm not having a good time. Hi, buddy. Okay, we got our echo shards. I just need disc fragments. A safe chest near the exit. This should have a lot of stuff. Swift Sneak 2. Amazing. He's adorable. Hi, buddy. Oh, this is going to be bad. Okay, we're swooping in. We're picking up and we're leaving. Like instantly leaving. Did I get it? Still no more. Come on now. There's one, two more remain. Okay, there's only one shrieker up here. Nope, nope. There's two. Never mind. There's two. Okay, no plan. Next chest. Here we go. Please get a few more. And I'm out. I'm out right now. Oh, I can't see anything. I don't know where I am. I don't know. Oh, there's my torch. Safety torch. Anything? Nothing? And nothing good. The warden down here is really angry. This appears to be skulk free on this side. Maybe we can get lucky. I've looted nearly every chest inside of the city and I am still too dis fragments shy but that's been far too many close calls let's find our way out of here behold my stuff it's a lot of diamond hose where we can take one of these guys make a compass that will hopefully never work inside of this world yep keep spinning just keep spinning most importantly we can take the skulk shrieker and toss it right here which looks so good there are a lot of fun shapes on this tower it's time to add even more fun shapes to this build but i need a lot of materials to make that happen as always starting by laying down some copper to oxygen Dice, crafting up tons of granite materials, getting loads of emeralds to trade with the stonemasons for brick blocks, dyeing terracotta to orange terracotta, breaking bamboo for sticks to craft a lot of fences, and here we have everything for the walls of the mansion. Let's start by framing out the build by alternating brick and granite on the corner, and maybe for the upper floor we bring in terracotta. Repeating the same thing for the front. I want to create some big windows here that we can border with some copper. Here we can divide the floors with a little bit of a polished granite stair. Then we repeat a second window. Ending with something like this. Test part is done and I worked on filling in the rest of this first side to see the shape in place. Underneath the windows, I'd like to add in a little bit of a flower planter with some azalea on the first and second level. For the roof line, I want to make it a little gothic, adding in some spiky bits. Yep, that's looking good. Sticking with a sandstone idea from the main tower window, we can carry that in right down here. Ditto for the second floor. Glass is now in place, and I've extended a little white terracotta around the side here that we can just reinforce with a few jungle signs across the top. This build is meant to be symmetrical. With the one front side finish, I set off repeating this to the other. Now tackling the end bits over here, I want to first carry the white terracotta up to make it even. Now for the end, this is where I want to bring in a pop of color. Dripstone blocks to the base, and then we bring in the orange terracotta coming all the way up. Leaving space for a few windows in here, looking at the beautiful rock. Framing out the windows here again with some sandstone for a little bit of a pop. But as this is a bigger one, I want to break up the middle here with a little pillar and some bushes in the front. 
adding in some glass here for the windows and that'll do and you guessed it repeating this to the other side too but wait subscribe now and there's more the entire back is the same but wait for it again less windows starting from a minecraft mountain i have now carved out a great mansion from the stone just a bit of a convertible mansion for the roof i want to make a strong contrast taking some cobble deep slate i can craft deep slate tiles starting with some stairs slowly working our way up and making the arch even taller as it goes where i think we work from a slope like this to the top i just have to bring it all the way around To break up the roof, I'd like to leave a few spots, like a big two by two gap right in here. To add in a chimney just to break up the big old tile wall. This is looking pretty good, but it could use some more love. For starters, iron bars across the top points, making the build a tiny bit more gothic. Yep, that's helping a lot. Then these open spaces, we can take some of our andesite high skeletons using droppers to the top of the chimney, then a few sulfire campfires, and that should do it. Of course, with a second on the far side. Now this is starting to look like a mansion. And the inside, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. The spiders and creepers on the mansion. They'll never expect me coming in from the side. Ha! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, no, no. I'm sorry, Mr. Edmund. We can be friends, I swear. Ah, I hit the ground. <laughs> Almost died to tall grass. Okay, we're fine. I really need to torch this up as I want to get my beacon back. Ooh, no. Just don't look at the shy tall guy in the corner. Nobody knows he's the best Minecraft block picker upper in the world. Moving to the back of the mansion to create my ideal life of luxury. It's time to build some massive gardens, sloping somehow up this way. And I guess I've got a lot more of the mountain to remove. Okay, maybe a little bit of a better idea here. What if I start by building a retaining wall and then I work my way up from there? Yeah, that should be a good first layer. And for this, I just need to get the coarse dirt to this layer for the garden. To work with the shape of the mountain so we're not completely blowing it up. Again, I want to make multiple terraces for the garden layers. Came down to grab a little bit more tough and got some diamonds. Setting up the beacon yet again and clearing out multiple layers for the garden to take shape into the mountainside. Where I think I now have enough materials to build my own mountain. A good way to plan this out is to use some signs. I know, genius, right? A tree over here, a pond pond, a fountain in the wall, a statue on this layer, the tree of Gondor calls for leaves. Now up here, I think I want to start with some cypress trees and I actually have the blocks on me. And that should be a good height for the base. And ooh, ooh traitor, anything? Ooh, rooted dirt, I'll be right back. Emergency emeralds, thank you. Now I can just go through the process of adding leaves in here with some moss and tall grass to give it a little bit more texture. Trees in place, and next up, I want a little bit of a trellis right along the front. A bit inspired by something you might find in like a Mediterranean garden. Hopefully it doesn't block. No, that should be good. A little bit more depth with them, some slabbies and some glowberries hanging down. And that should do it. To finish the upper section, I added in some peonies, two small statues, kinda? Mossy carpet for more green, a few small flowers, and some benches out of campfires. This is looking really good up here, but my pickaxe is super dead before adding anything more to the garden i should probably fix it and get some more garden lights in the process taking a quick trip out to the end i've got some skellies to kill well i did that i have uh withers to kill There we go. Before installing my new lamps, I want to add in the rest of the details, which starts by moving my shulker mess. Mm, don't tell Pearl. Because right here, we add a pond. Digging down just a touch, I want to grab some dark prismarine to fill in the base. And no, no, maybe dark prismarine for the sides too. Grabbing a little bit of water and a quick trip to the swamp for some lily pads. Well, I should need just a few of them. That should be plenty. With the water in, I want to add a few lily pads around the corners. And maybe a big one right here with a flower for a bubble coral fan. Little walls on the corners. And that'll do. Next, I just need to add a little bit more green to this section. Because it is kind of supposed to be a garden. This is a good start. I think I want to make the actual walking paths a little brighter with some rooted dirt. Yeah, that works a lot better. Trying to make this look extremely manicured, I'm thinking a small tree. That's almost like a little 
too perfect looking could help a lot. Beyond that, I think taking out this back section of dirt and replacing it with fancy stripy grass using moss and grass blocks will help complete the illusion that this is a really fancy spot to hang out. A little workstation over here, and I probably need a door so we can have a proper entrance inside, including a second door on the upper level as well, with a little seating area underneath a canopy of leaves. Adding a few beacon lamps around the garden, building a new fountain into the walls of the garden to create some depth and adding in a new fancy feature to the mansion with a lodestone here at the center and a few benches around the edge plus a big old birch in the corner from there i removed more of the coarse dirt to replace this with a rooted dirt path around the garden for the other attractions while doing that i kept coming back to this spot and i want to tear it out to build up a little shrine of sorts with something a little like this and now the tree of Whippendor calls for aid, starting with a little bit of a raised platform. Next, I need a little bit of water to fill in around the edges and cover that with mossy cobble slabs, where hopefully I have a little bit of coral to act as some really colorful plants, all to accompany a miniature version of the Giga Tree growing in the mansion garden. Walking up to this, I need a bit more of a wow, which might be possible using some pillars. This is working a little better leading up to the tree. Maybe we'd line with some azaleas. Low lichen on top for lighting and flowers. Still missing something, but you know what? Candles could look really good here. Oh, and I've got a ton of orange dye. Two, three, and four. That adds a little bit more of a subtle color, and I like that a lot. This dead space over here, I want to turn into another lawn. Striping grass and moss blocks going all the way across. Looking perfectly fancy. Time to clean up the absolute mess of shulker boxes, where I started from a default mountainside. Fancying up the mansion to include this beautiful garden area with multiple water features custom trees and just so much color i need more custom trees specifically at the corner of the front of the mansion using some big plant potters on both sides because it's the best minecraft tree i'd like to use some birch logs this one for now is just gonna go into the side of the wall i guess i'm missing a little space here or wonky and sticking out forwards that should be a pretty good height just need some branches as i work up the courage to tackle the rest of that flat face we'll improve the tree but that'll do for now one more to go There we have it, my Minecraft mansion to live a life of luxury in this hardcore world. Just uh, watch your step as you go in the front door. Let me know in the comments, should I work on interior decorating the existing city we have so far or keep expanding it down the valley? Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side.